Um, now, this is what GarageBand looks like when you open it up. Actually, the only thing I've done is I've clicked on this little scissor icon, which is how you get down to your Piano Roll editor, which is what we're going to be using today. Now, Piano Roll is basically a simplified way of notating music. So over here you have your complex musical score that intimidates a lot of people. Piano Roll is recording the exact same information on this axis. The horizontal you have time. On the vertical you have pitch. So that's what the piano is representing. So in order to place notes on Piano Roll you first have to create a region by using the command key. Clicking on the uh, on the measure staff up there. Now we've created a region which you can edit in Piano Roll by also hitting the command key and then placing some notes. So I'm going to make some basic chords here. And now we can use copy and paste to move those around, make things a little more interesting, I'm going to turn on the loop function using this button down here. I've set it, you can set the amount that's going to loop up here to, I have it set to one measure. And that'll play endlessly. Now, if you want to change duration of notes in Piano Roll, you just select them and drag. Or, when you're placing them, if you go over to score here, we were placing eighth notes, um, or I think we were actually placing quarter notes, but you can uh, you can set what kind of notes you place over here in the score page. And that'll be your default, but then you can always modify that. Now let's go ahead and make the rhythm just a little more interesting and give it a little bit of a syncopation. And since I think this is going to be kind of a trance type project, let's, let's just pick the tempo up a tiny bit, maybe to somewhere around 130. That's a little better. Okay, now I'm going to use, uh, I think, let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's use one of the synths. Now, if you go over to the edit function here, where we are in browse, you have just presets. But if you go over to edit, you can actually edit the synths and make your, and this is what I'd recommend experimenting with, because then you can learn a little bit about synthesis. It's not quite the, the synths that, you, the, if you click this tab here, you can go in and it's kind of like using a hardware synth, but you don't have all the parameters you would. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the analog basic synth. Experiment with that a little bit. I'm going to turn off this master reverb and that phaser. I'm not crazy about that. Change that out for a uh, auto filter. Now that's going to change the cutoff over time. You can hear that happening already. I'm going to turn on this compressor. It usually will help fatten up the sound a little bit. And then I do want to add, add a little bit of delay, but I'm going to do that manually uh, instead of using their their overall delay. I'm just going to add track echo. And I'm going to sync the echo to 1.8. So I like the way that that kicks in. And I'm going to turn down the uh, echo volume and repeats a little bit. Then I'm going to add some reverb. Now I don't like the the track reverb. I usually use the matrix reverb. If we extend this loop out to four measures, hold down Option and drag, 
I can drag out a couple more repeats of that same loop. But playing the same thing over and over again would be boring, so now we can just go in here. We already have our notes. I'm, I'm learning how to use Apple Logic right now, but I started out on GarageBand and there, were, there weren't a lot of good tutorials out there, so I decided uh, why not try and make some to fill that void and um, hopefully I can learn a little bit more about music and help some of you guys out too. Feel free to give me comments. I'd like to you know, make these as helpful as possible for people. Let me know if there's any particular tutorials that you'd, uh, that you'd like to see in the future. And uh, thanks for watching.